Before learning in school, so many of us learned on the street. Sesame Street, that is. It's not just Sesame Street, and it's not just kids. Public television has informed and enlightened America for more than 50 years. From great performances to nature, but with hundreds of cable channels and streaming networks, do we really need public television? And more importantly, should your hard-earned tax dollars pay for part of it? Let's get this straight. Senator Ted Cruz accused PBS's Sesame Street of government propaganda last year. It led SNL to spoof Cruz. You know, for 50 years I stood by as Sesame Street taught our children dangerous ideas like numbers and kindness. <laughs> but when Big Bird told children to get vaccinated against a deadly disease, I said, enough! The battle over public television is nothing new. In 1972, just three years after its creation, then-President Richard Nixon vetoed a bill to fund the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. And the debate has continued for decades, the divide mostly along party lines. This amendment is simply about priorities. And can limited federal resources be better spent to house, and clothe, and feed disadvantaged Americans? This is an education bill, Mr. President. It does more for education than any other service that we have provided in this Congress. Critics have one of two complaints, the cost and the content. Congress allocates $445 million annually. That's about $1.35 for every American, or about 0.015% of the total budget. The Corporation for Public Broadcasting funnels 95% of its cash to its stations, most notably PBS and NPR. Their goal? To provide informational and educational programming accessible to everyone, especially those in rural areas where programming is limited, commercial free. And in return, all the stations are required to meet editorial standards with news and sponsors. But Colorado Republican Doug Lamborn argues their bias is evident, writing NPR and PBS have increasingly turned into a mouthpiece for the left. And for more than a decade now, Lamborn has introduced legislation to defund public broadcasting. If Lamborn is successful, the 330 PBS member stations would lose 14% of its budget, and the more than 1,000 NPR member stations will lose about 8% forcing listeners to listen to more of these. So we're inviting you this morning to call in with your pledge of support for Teletubbies and Barney and Sesame Street. Are Americans getting their money's worth? Let me know in the comments below. Straight from DC, I'm Annie Anderson.